our chapter one release that is coming to Create and Craft on Sunday the 3rd of January. So it'll just be a small collection of our chapter one dies, they're all lovely floral themed dies and on the show on Sunday there'll be four different shows so there'll be one at 1.30, at quarter past two, at 4.30 and at quarter past eight in the evening and I will be showcasing all the dyes on there, I will be sharing some inspiration and you can get your hands on them um, at a great price and lots of other Sizzix um, goodies on there as well. So I'm going to run through the chapter one dyes that will be on the Create and Craft show and I'll share with you a little bit of inspiration and what I'll be showing you and sharing with you on that Sunday as well, okay? so. Like I said, they are all floral dyes and they're all brand new chapter one 2021 dyes, okay? So the first one we've got here is the floral bunch dye. Now this one is a really lovely one because it's a um, stamp framelit set, okay? So you get thinlets dyes and you get the gorgeous stamps down the bottom here. So the thinlets dyes are at the top and work perfectly and fit perfectly with the stamps. So I'll just show you a couple of examples here so I'll be showing you how they work in unison with the stamps and the dies together I'll show you some techniques for using some of our Sizzix markers to colour them in how you can layer them up and incorporate all the different elements and pop them onto a lovely card so we've got one here that, like I said it is using the um, Sizzix permanent markers and here we have got another die that is incorporated that is also on the show so i'll show you how to mix and match the dyes as well so if you're looking to buy the whole collection i'll show you how you can use them sort of in unison together and this one here is just another example of that gorgeous dye it's colored in with pencil crayons and showing you how these gorgeous stamps just are so perfect they're so clean and they just are really really lovely those ones okay so that's the first dye the second one is the flowers with envelope okay so this one um, i really really like because it's a little bit unusual because you've got that envelope element that you do fold up and you can have it on its own or you can start to add that cluster of flowers in there as well so you can change it up depending on colors you can add the foliage you can layer them up all you want okay and here I've got a really fun cute idea that I'm going to share with you on the show and this is how to make a little gift tag using the envelope so as you can see the envelope does fold up and it folds together and then all I've done is popped a little note card inside so I would write my who's it, who, who's my present to my little sentiment on there and then I've got those lovely flowers around the edge and then just a little tag a little bit of string so really different way of using it but obviously you can just use it on the front of a card so you could really cluster up the flowers in the center or you could just be quite minimal with them so here i've just got them down the side and i've actually used some of our pattern paper um, inside as well so i'll show you how to create that lovely effect and i've got a lovely sort of um mixed media slight background and it, actually this background is just using our sizzix permanent markers again so a really fun technique that i'll be sharing with you and showing you how to incorporate the dye um, with that one the next one is a really fun sort of more 3d one so this is the jar with flowers so again you have got that lovely cluster of flowers that you can use that are so versatile you can use them without the jar or with and then you also get that jar shape now another thing that is on the show is our jar dome so it is a shaker dome in the shape of that jar and they work side by side so they work perfectly together that jar dome fits inside the jar thinlet and then you have all the flowers that you can decorate with so you probably notice this gorgeous frame here and this actually showcases that lovely jar dome and it's got some of our sequins and beads inside so you can have a lot of fun um, popping different coloured beads and sequins in there and really playing around with that and then you can layer up the flowers on top so I'll just give it a bit of a, bit of a shake <laughs> so that's a really lovely one um, and then this is a fun idea as well which actually doesn't use the jar dome and it actually just use, uses the die so the thinlets die and I've actually created a little card that stands up on its own using those jar framelits and those flowers and that's just a really really cute idea and I'll be showing you how to do that on the show as well 
Um, oh, I do actually have another card here as well. Again, showcasing that lovely shaker dome. Really fun idea. And again, they work perfectly side by side. So if you've got your hands on, your eye on that, um, make sure to obviously check out the show. This one is probably one of my favourites. This is the Icelandic poppy because it is such a bold, bold shape that this flower is so versatile and you can use it 3D or you can use it flat. You can really sculpt the petals to make it really cupped, like I said, and you can make a full on bouquet, which I don't have here, but on the show, I will be showing you a gorgeous bouquet and how to make them using sculpting foam. I think you may have noticed some of them down here, which actually look very different to how this flower makes up. And this is just a different way of using that that die with the sculpting foam. So I'll be showing you two different ways to use sculpting foam with this die. Um, and I will be showing you how to make these gorgeous flowers as well as um, ones that look a little bit more like the die. So again, showing that versatility, but also if you are interested in having this die a little bit more flat, there is also that option as well, which is really lovely. You can layer up the different flowers and the leaf elements and the center elements, and you can have a lot of fun popping them onto a card or a frame or something like that. So really versatile dye this one because it can be used more 3D or more 2D, okay? This one is, again, a really lovely one. This is Floral Crescent Moon. This one I really love for its intricacy. So you've got that really fine moon shape and then those lovely layered flowers. Now, this is perfect if you're doing it in opulent card stock. So without ooh, moving too many things, you can see here, this is actually in a notebook. So it's just a um, page from a notebook. And you can see the, the moon there, really delicate with that gold opulent and then those flowers here. And you can actually use the flowers separately to add embellishment as well. They don't have to go with that moon. But I will be showing you how to layer those up and use them for different makes. So things like scrapbook pages and I've even got a lovely name plaque as well that I'll be showcasing on the show. And I'll show you how to create fun backgrounds with those as well. So a bit more technique in with your die cutting. So make sure again to check that out. This one is the floral lattice. This one is a lovely layered die, so it does actually come in two pieces and they're the same size and they fit on top of each other, but the two pieces have slightly different configurations of this pattern. So you get that tonal effect when you layer them up. So I'll show you an example here, just of a card. So you can see just really simple, but just by layering up those two dies, how gorgeous that is. And you can have a lot of fun playing with the different colors, whether you want them tonal you could keep it all white if you wanted and I'm going to show you how you can do that how you can incorporate them into other makes like I showed you on that card that was the first one or I'll show, also show you how to create again a fun inked background so you can see the background behind it and then you can layer this up and create a really really striking make okay so the next one is floral layers. Now this one is great if you love your intricate flower dyes. So if you like layering, if you like that intricacy, if you like taking your time with things, this one is perfect because it does create this gorgeous flower motif, okay? So it layers up, you can change up the colors, you can add elements, you can take them away, you can build it up to be as big of a bouquet as you want, you can, really personalize this one and it's really really fun you can also use the elements separately so here i've got a, another card that shows you how i've used the elements separately rather than in one big bunch and i'll show you how they layer up and the easiest way that you can layer them up without making tons of mess and i think this is the last one yeah the last one is the spring set. So obviously we are coming into a new year and Easter is creeping up on us already, probably. I'm sure you're probably gonna see Easter eggs and things in the supermarkets, in the shops in February time. So this one is a great one to have in your collection. You do get lots of different elements in there. So you get the gorgeous little bunny 
the watering can, the chicken, the birdhouse, the flowers, the sentiment, you get it all, okay? And I'm going to show you how to make up a couple of different makes with these. So we've got one here, which you may have already noticed, that is a lovely little cake topper. And this is a really fun idea and we've actually even got some of the sequins and beads in there. So um, I'll show you how to layer those up and create something like that. And also I'll show you how to use sculpting foam on something that isn't necessarily super 3D and a bouquet. So these flowers are actually made using our sculpting foam and they've even got sequin and glitter centres. So um, I'll be sharing with you that little technique that maybe you haven't thought about using something like sculpting foam on a card okay so i believe that's everything obviously the main focus of um all of those shows on sunday the third will be those new collection of floral dyes that are in the chapter one um, but there'll be loads of other goodies like i said there'll be cardstock opulent cardstock tools accessories you name it we've got it and it'll be like i said on sunday the third from 1.30, 2.15, 4.30 and 8.15 in the evening, okay? And if you're watching, it is Sky Channel 683. If you're watching on Freeview, it's Channel 95. And if you're watching on Virgin, it's Channel 748, okay guys? You can also tune in on the Create and Craft website. They have a live stream on there as well. So if you're not near a TV, you can also tune in on there. So hopefully you come over there and see me and you get your hands on some of these amazing chapter one goodies but until then stay safe keep crafting and i'll see you in the next one thanks